Did you know that visuals are embedded more deeply in the brain than words? In a recent study, people were asked to recall a story. The story was about little mice making pancakes, but that's not really the point. There were two groups of people. The first group was told the story twice. The second group was told the story once and shown an animation of the story. When recalling the story, the first group was able to do so, but they only showed signs of activating the verbal part of their brain. The second group, not surprisingly, was able to recall the story, but they were activating the verbal part of the brain, the visual part of their brain, and actually their motor cortex. And that may mean that they didn't just see the story in their mind's eye, but they actually used the same part of the brain that they would have used if they were flipping those pancakes themselves. The study showed about 25% more of this kind of activation when visuals were shown versus just words alone. See, visuals bury themselves deep within the brain, and it's kind of like that German word um, when for songs that get stuck in your head. That uh, I love that word. The word is Ohrwurm, and it, uh, it translates to earworm, which is kind of gross, but it's an accurate metaphor. It's getting stuck in your head, right? So if songs are like earworms, visuals are kind of like eye worms. They bury themselves and get really deeply stuck in your head. And now we know the science of why. It's because they're being recorded on more levels within the brain structure. And that's the science behind the magic.